Guys, I'm Randy, the Show Me Tent, and he caught me doing some paint protection. Dakota's here, he's hammering it out today. Redbeard's with me, we're all killing it. Redbeard's got the new gear on. Check that out, we call that the candy shop. Turn around, let me see in the back. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's put it on, guys. Come on, you do the other side. So this is that old dually truck that's kind of classic. It's a classic, it's a 98, and it usually has this big flare on it. Look, hang on, this is this side. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, this is super crazy. We remove this whole thing off the truck. Typically it's over here. This is a dually flare. Dually trucks have two wheels on the back. Before, two on each side. Hence the word dual, dually. Anyway, don't let me break this. This just got painted. So to avoid seams and try to make it look so flawlessly like we like to do, Dakota had an idea of like removing this. So right now I'm gonna try to find where like the end of this film is gonna stop. There is not a lot of like pre-cut patterns and stuff like this for your 98 dually trucks. This is all with experience. Get in here, Dakota. So right now, this is a, this is a p big piece of paint protection film. And what that is, is what we typically apply in the shop. And we call this a bulk piece because it's like, there's no patterns. Typically, like when you cut this stuff out for these cars, the ones behind you, the Tesla plaid, we have what they call patterns. So the patterns are like pre-cut pieces that we run through a machine and cut. This, we're making it on the car, for the car, custom. A lot harder work. It's a lot more intricate. There's a lot more chance to mess stuff up. And it's a, obviously a lot more chance at wasting a bunch of material. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to set the piece to have the least amount of, of bulk material to lay down and have optimum coverage on the bedside. We're kind of fighting around these like bolt holes. You see these things here? These are some of the ones that were still, we couldn't get off for the flare. So this is like holding the material off the truck and it's just causing a big pain. Something we deal with all the time, but this is a challenge and I kind of like doing challenging stuff, you know. I'm trying to keep enough like fluid behind it. The material lays nice and clean. We can get it on here. Taking off the flares are a good idea. So, like you, you can, as long as you keep it wet, you can keep manipulating it and like working it, but it also increases the chance of like contamination, which is like dirt and stuff. We're trying to, we don't want that, but it also can create what's called like lift lines. During the installation, this is the most high pressure part of it because this piece is, you know, several hundred dollars. If we mess it up, we have to redo it. <laughs> so uh, it's, we're trying our best to do it, you know, on the first time, so. We're just trying to like work in the material, to see how it's gonna like flex into the body lines and stuff. And the reason they need to be up here is because it's such a big piece. Like if, if one guy was working down here, that other side would be too dry. By that time, it would show a bunch of errors. It'd show like, tack marks and dry marks and all kinds of stuff. So working as a team is always better on something like this. So you can tackle big pieces together. Like it's like doing a hood together is always better. Me and Dakota actually killed the hood yesterday. We did a great job. It was super challenging, it was super hard. We started it and we were both like, oh my God, what are we getting into? And then we did it, we figured it out, made it perfect and then got it all done and found a hair in the middle of it. And we're like, we had to take it all off because of one tiny little hair. I'd like to say this tiny little hair, it was like this big. It was like, I don't know where it came from, but it was like this tall, something like that. I don't know, I don't know if it was like, like that. That was terrible, but it all worked out. But it did, the installation went great. I was super proud of us. So I think I got them where they can, they can manage it from here. And really I just got all the little tough stuff from the left, so. You know, I get a piece out and they're gonna finish it up for me. It's good to have a good team behind us. So I'm excited to how they do it. They did a good job on the other side. I know they can handle this. It's going pretty smooth. Let's go, be, let me go show you real quick what else everybody else is doing real quick and uh, we'll go from there, guys. All right, guys, we, we made down the tent shop, halfway wrap shop this time of year. We've got more wraps coming out of Show Me Tent than ever before. Literally, everywhere I looked, another wrap. So this is one I have Ramon doing. This one is coming down here first. 
and then it's going to pop up to the shop and we're going to do some Damascus underneath these what we call the rocker in this body line. This guy's wild. He's a little older. His name's Walter Smith and uh, it's a trip. He, he, he likes setting things apart. You're going to see this pulling some round bells. He said, want to look cool pulling some round bells? And I was like, yeah, man, if you're into round bells and yeah, I'm sure it's going to look really cool. <laughs> like This color here is what it used to be. This is just kind of a flat basic red. And then it's super high metallic. Let me see if I can get my flashlight to turn on a little bit. See, when it gets out in the sun, I promise you, this thing is going to be banging. It is going to be cool. And it's just wild. You know what I mean? Because you can do it. Why not? It's rap. It's fun. You can do it. We can do it. But my guy's over here tinting cars right now because it is summertime. It is packed all day. I think at one point, Andre took his shirt off. You know it's busy. Andre, you have your shirt off today? Woo! He was hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why we started doing the tank tops. The guy's got some of the new gear on. Uh, you know, we've just been at it. How many cars you guys tint today? One, two, fifty, thousand, thousand fifty, something like that. They laid it down. Is this the last one you're doing today or the last one for the day? It's definitely the last one they're doing today. Everybody else is going to wait till tomorrow. I promise you. I can always vibe at about six o'clock. Whatever's outside is staying outside. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there's only a few cars left. So I'm sure you guys are going to knock out this removal though, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, oh, yeah, hundred percent. They're on it. They're gonna knock it right out. <laughs> You'll be ready right to buy tomorrow. Those started first thing in the morning. We're just super busy this time of year. That's what you want. You know, you don't want to be trying to go to a shop. It's like, hey, we don't got anything going on. You know what I mean? Like, we're popping. We're ready. We're doing stuff. Ramon broke some serious records this week. He handled a huge Saturday by himself. Huge. We worked him so hard. Like he actually probably lost five pounds. He, I, I kind of feel bad for him, but then I looked at my bank account and I was like, oh, thank you, Ramon. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I know that check had to be fat this week. Like, it felt heavy when I had to hit submit payroll. <laughs> it was a good time. This is the time of year for us to get it. So that's what's so fun about it. I try to, I try to share with everybody. So we're all coming up together. What well, you guys got a windshield to do here? You got a full windshield going on this. So they're prepping the outside of it. I love seeing them work as a team. These guys tend a lot of cars together. Three people, that's <laughs> No, we saw the Hammond Bam. Whoa. Hammond Bam, beat that out. <laughs> a Hammond Bam, that's what we call it. <laughs> well, I think, I'll, I think I'll take off. I think I'll, uh, uh, you guys got this. I'll uh, get some guys down here to help you guys sweep up please, and please. yeah, and uh, we'll get out of here for the day. I appreciate you guys checking it out and uh, I hope it was a little fun. Hope you learned something. And if you want to see anything, hit me up. Thanks for checking out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, like, like this video. Just a little like. Thank you. All right. Peace out. I'm leaving. Let me take this with you. I'll take this trash with me. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to set it right here though. <laughs>